See? So it's your straw you. man, right? Looks just like you're the United States of America's straw guy. You're walking and talking, right? For it. I got you. I got you. All right. So, so S Corporation. The next is, and that's for like uh, investors. So the guy says, I want to invest, but hold on. I don't want to be part owner of your company. I don't want to pay tax on ownership. You say, that's fine. I understand. I have the perfect thing for you. I'm an S Corp. So you're not taxed like that. That's what an S Corp is. But if you're growing your business, no need to be an S Corp at this point. Because you're not pulling in investors at this point. You have to be more established like you. You see? Now, the next thing is, so we do something called, remember I said a scratch pub co. So that's taking a person with an ID and a social security card and, and anybody qualifies. You walk in, you get your corporation, you build it the way it's supposed to be, like I'm telling you right now, and I'm going to give you in the next five minutes how to build it. They're not going to tell you on the internet how to build it. Who's going to tell you on the internet? Nobody. Okay. So now, the next thing is, is to go in, get a C Corp. Now, can you own, can your C Corp own an S and an LLC? Yeah, I'm, sure I'm going to show you the structure right now. Oh, okay, the C-Corp, just like, just like the United States of America, is a C-Corp, right? It has corporations underneath it, which are DBAs like uh, the, the states. And then underneath that are the cities. And then after that are the people, right? And then comes the planet. Anything five, a fifth, uh, 500 feet below your home, they own. Anything 500 feet above your home, they own air space. That's the way it is. Unless it's on water, you only have on this planet, you only have, you only have land and water. That's all you have. So if you right? have a boat, they don't own it. If you have a boat that's out in the sea, you're in you're in neutral waters. You just have to you stay out there it. though. You can you can go, I hate to say this, but you can go and do something really bad to somebody on a boat and there's nothing nobody can do. But, but when you go back to the shore, if they can prove that you did this to the person while you're on the shore, they can say, well, okay, now we can prosecute you because we figured out that you did that you know, to this person and this person's a citizen. But what you did in the water stays in the water. It's maritime law. It's called admiralty law. Mm. Quiddity. Uh, a water or mark on a check. It's all water terms. See? So wow. we need to learn this. We need to teach our children this. Yes. That's why, that's why next month I'm going to, I'm printing the, the children's book. From, awesome. From 15 to 25. Easy to understand. None of these capitalist terms. You know, hey, what is money? Not what is a revenue. What is money? Okay, what is a corporation? What types of corporations? How do you get credit? What are the five corporate bureaus? Mm -hmm. Not personal bureaus, corporate bureaus. Equifax, business, Experian business, small business financial exchange, Dun and Bradstreet, and Paynet. Let's go over that again. Experian business, Equifax business, Small Business Financial Exchange. That's banks talking to banks, right? Dun and Bradstreet, D-U-N-N and -N Bradstreet. Brad Pitt, Dun and Bradstreet. And Paynet, why is it important? Because you need to not only be the CEO of your company in name, here's my card, I'm the CEO, but don't know anything about being a CEO. A, a business, a, <laughs> but a business, Right? So we have titles. We're big title people, everybody. You know, you know, here's my card, you know, with two fingers they hand it to you. Here's my card, you know. So yeah, here's my card. So a CEO should know my company should be able to go get money from the bank. It should be able to protect itself. It should know the five bureaus. I should be able to get annual loans, bank statement loans, merchant account loans, uh, yearly loans. A um, uh, 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 credit card, high limits, um, uh, 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 revolving lines, 
all kinds of money that I have access to so that I will never take a drop. I can always make a lateral or go up. Yeah. Yeah. Access to capital. And my company is worth something. And I'm making it more and more and more, bigger and bigger and bigger, worth something. That's why you're doing the same thing I'm doing, but I'm worth five million and you're only worth a million. Because my company is worth five million. You right. only have a million in capital. Mm-hmm. That's Something the LLC. Me. That's the LLC. Not only the LLC, any company. Because guess what? A guy selling a million dollars worth of shoes. All he is is making a million dollars because he's selling shoes, but his company's not built right. 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 So he can't attract investors. He can't go to the bank and get money. He can't grow. You need money to grow, right? He's just banking on that million. And once he pays his employees, he pays all the other bills. He doesn't have a million. He maybe has 50,000, maybe has 100,000. And now he got to rely on his tax guy to make sure he can save a lot of that, (laughs) okay? So we don't work like that. We go in like the 15% Latin speakers. We make our company really worth something. So whenever we need an influx, we are no longer, say, people say, what do you do? I teach people in seminars and webinars. I say, you, what do you do? He says, I'm 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 into uh, ITT. I says, or a person says, I'm in real estate. I says, no, you're not. After you leave this seminar, you will never, you will never say, I'm a real estate guy or woman. You will now say, I am a capitalist. I am a businesswoman. And I do other things. Right. I always say that. I am a businesswoman. That's I'm right. A, I'm a business person. I'm business not a, uh, a podcast person. I do podcast. No. no, I don't. If I came to you and I said, I can, if for 5000 I can sell you a $10,000 car and I can prove it's worth ten. but I there's COVID. I need the money. Would you not capitalize on that and sell it for nine thousand real quick? It's worth yeah. ten. Yeah, that's yeah. how you use woman. credit. You use credit, and you don't let credit use you. That's right. Next rule. Next rule. Right. So the main thing is is non-performance income. In Latin, we don't perform. We don't sing. We don't dance unless we love it and want to do it. Not for the money. We don't do that. We don't run up and down a basketball field, a football field, a court, driven the ball, legs going out, knees going out, operations every month. No, we don't do that. While the owner of the team does non-performance income, he sits up in the up there and says, look at him go. Boy, look at him go. We're going to win the Super Bowl this year. Oh, no. We need to take that position and start being people that understand non-performance. When they came to this country, they didn't come here for religious reasons. That's a lie. They came here for opportunity to own the land, have free labor, and sit back and do non-performance income. And that's what's going on today. So we need to get on the bandwagon. Yes, sir. All right. So now, thirdly, C Corporation. It's a seven. We talk in code. So the seven is in the corner. The seven can do everything that all the other ones can do. Times times nine, right? The seven is in the corner, right? Person says, I got my LLC, but you can't go get no money from the bank. Not okay. like you get with a C-Corp. That's so you right. don't want that. You're not looking for investors. You don't even have any, anything to attract an investor. You're just a seed person. So go and get that one, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars from the bank like this. You have your seven. In the corner of the seven is what they call the C Corp. If you walk down the seven, you have the back of the seven, you have your limited, your, your DBAs. So I'm a corporation that has no specific name. Never name your corp a specific thing because you lock yourself into a sick code that they can identify. That's right. And I tell people that too. Yes. Okay. So you want to be- It's just the name. It's just not even a thing. It's just the name. That's right. So guess what? If you have a, let's say a computer, it's an Apple. 
Does Apple mean computer? No. No, because no. they're smart. They know Latin. Does Walmart mean cheap clothes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Walmart just means it's Walmart. Right? That's right. What about Starbucks? Does Starbucks mean uh, coffee? No. I wonder why not. Because they understand what I'm saying to you. I did this for almost 30 years. I've been around some of the biggest people in the game, some of the highest people. I learned this and was fortunate enough. Now I'm just trying to give it back. That's wonderful. So next, now you have the proper structure. The DBAs, if you have an LLC, don't waste it and tear it down. Put that underneath, right? Or, or you have to protect yourself, right? So what you do is, what you do is, you got the corner, you got your DBAs, or you can take that LLC and you can put that at the end of the seven, at the top. Remember your foundation? That's, that's the top of the seven. And at the end here is your holding corporation. So you can make any one of those that you already have your holding corporation. And that protects your money. So you write a simple letter from the C-Corp to the holding corporation that says, we, everything we own belongs to you. So if anybody sues the, 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 the DBAs, they don't hurt the mama. But if the, you're making a lot of money and they're going to, these big attorneys are going to come in Mercedes and Range Rovers, they may break the veil. They call it a corporate veil. They may break the veil of the C but they can never touch because all assets belong to this one, the holding court. So you can take that and do it either way. You can keep the holding court and your LLC or what you have existing, make that your DBA and keep it moving. Or you can put that as your holding court. And that's, it, it, okay. So having the C and the, and the LLC be the holding court, is that even more solid than just having the C and then the LLC under it? Most definitely. If you're expanding, you're going to protect yourself. Don't there you, you think, Don't you see, just look on the internet and look up Bank of America Holdings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I already did that after everything out. Look at that. I just went <laughs> off. I just, I already saw all that. I, I already did all my investigations with, with Bank of America. Because when I when I was, you know, building my company, I was like, okay, what bank do I want to go with? And they were they were one of the companies that I looked at when I wanted to open up a bank account and I decided not to. Well, every bank has a holding company. Yes. If you look at Walmart, just look them up. You'll see Walmart holdings. Everybody has a holding court. Right. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So that's okay. We yeah. just knocking stuff out because we're so excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we're so excited. My gosh. This this is revolutionary for some people. This is something that they've never heard. They've never heard it. That's why I have. Uh, I did TikTok. I had some guys come to me because we generally take companies public. Mm -hmm. so that's what we started out doing. Remember the guy Kyle Freeman introduced me. We opened a company called Global Conceptual Group, and we were taking companies public, raising them the funds to go public. Mm -hmm. That's very high end. But after a while, we noticed these people need to have their corporation structured to go public. So we stepped it down and we said, okay, now we got to structure these companies correctly. And I understand banking, so it was easy. Mm -hmm. Then we had to step down again and say, well, wait a minute. Now we got to go down and make sure that everybody's stuff is together on the seed level. So that's how we came down to this. So I had a few people um, uh, say, Derek, you know, everybody needs this. You know, what about the people, the 85%? And I was like, well, you know, man, I mean, but you know, what is it? Say, what do you mean, Derek? You say you always want to help people, right? So, right? so he says, so he says, I got a guy that can get us with the funnels and with the, all of this stuff. I, said, I don't know anything about that. It's, Derek, I just need you to talk. So I said, okay, all right, let's do it. So we put this whole thing together, and within three months, I've been doing this with the normal people for maybe a couple of years, but mostly higher end people. But now this, this, these people that I'm working with are saying, you need to be a celebrity authority. Now let me explain that. 
I didn't know anything about this, right? I know what I know, but anybody tells you they know everything, they're a liar and they don't believe them. Don't believe them. So I don't know about everything. Right. But if you tell me, I will investigate it and I will know it tomorrow. That's how I grow. So, so the thing is, he said, we need a funnel. We need this, we need that, so we can spread you out over the internet and, and get you all this. So I said, well, okay, let's do it. What do you need me to do? He said, I need you to talk and record. So I started recording, and within three months, they had these guys have me on TikTok with 350,000 people. Three, 350,000. And I do, a, I do a webinar twice a week. I do... Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Actually, there's one tonight, five o'clock, right? Which you can join if you'd like. And um, we do the webinar, and these people are saying, I have never heard anything like this. You mean to tell me that I can go in and get one or two or three or four thousand dollars just by having a corporation and walk in? And if Willie messes up or Wilhelmina, you say, I'm sorry, Wilhelmina messed up. And you walk back into your car and you pull out Leroy. They want to give you the money, but we don't want to mess the bank up because we can keep growing and getting more. So don't take the pennies when you can get the dollars. So do your best to pay the bank back because they're going to reward you. Yeah. Right. So why not do it right? Now, this is how you do it. You walk in, you get yourself a seasoned age shelf corp if you don't have a company a c corp that's already been around because banks don't deal with rookies right it takes you two to three years at least two and a half two and a half tax years or three years because they say this is a baby we're not dealing with this baby come back yeah. when you got more experience and that makes sense yeah so you get yourself a basic season age shelf corp right that means the same way you can buy a, a new court, like everybody's at legal zoom, you can buy an old one. People don't know that. <laughs> oh, I, I love this. I love this. I know all about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's okay. better. So now, so now, this is the point. They say, say some people say, is that legal? I say, don't people buy restaurants and businesses all, every day? Well, then these lawyers take these corporations. They know what they can get from them. They know what you can get from them. So what they do is they take them, buy them, put them on the shelf, like age them like wine. And when they become three years old, they sell them. Because they know a person can get a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000 from this corporation. Yeah. And people that know about it, like, basketball players or people like that, that I talk to, a lot of people know about it, they buy them and they get yeah. money. So they, they don't have a problem with getting the money they need to do what they want to do. So you get yourself a season A shelf, they have them on online. Then you know, now that I told you about it, you can go get it. You don't have to buy anything from me. This is what I tell people all the time. I'm here to teach you how to get it and fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. I've been very fortunate. And this is my get back time. I tell them, I cannot be Martin Luther King. I cannot be Malcolm X. I cannot be Megar Evers or, or Muhammad Ali, which is my hero, right? But I can be Derek Whitehead, right? And I don't intend to have a get shot and be put down and have a, have a you know, a, 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 a street named after me. That ain't gonna work, right? I'm an advocate of the bank. So I don't have a problem with what they're doing. I just want you to learn the game so that you can join the crew. That's right. Wow. So wow. that's what I'm talking about. I'm a spiritual guy. I'm a godly guy. You know, I don't go to church that much, but I'm a godly guy. And I know anytime I teach somebody something and they succeed, I get back 10 times somewhere else. That's right. That's right. And people don't realize that, but you're right. You're completely I said it. I said it and I'm sticking to it. That's it. I didn't have to say it, but I'm sticking to it. That's where That's I'm coming right. from. So nobody can not say, well, I didn't know. Well, now you know. <laughs> now you know. Now you're responsible for what you know. That's right. Now you know. So yeah. now, 
Let's get back to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. What we do is we get the C Corp. A corporation is a person. Everything you have, it has. So let's say for instance, you have a good, decent credit score, right? Let's say it's 800. That's a good score, the person, yeah. right? Let's just say, you know, most people don't have 800s, but I mean, that's a good score. But for the corporation, it needs a credit score. That's why I explained to you Equifax, Experian, Small Business Financial Exchange, Dun & Bradstreet, Payday. So if you understand that it needs a credit score, then you know if you're going to get a car for your corporation, you need to be the CEO and know who to build up so you can make sure you get that car. Right. Right? So who are they going to check when you go in to get a car? That's the question. You. No. The company. The company is C-Corp, right? No. It, it, the C-Corporation is a person. And that person is has trade has uh, people that report you just like your personal. Oh, okay. They're gonna go to Equifax business, or they're gonna go to to the corporate, you know, the the like like what you would do, Experian, but business, and all okay. the other places, right? Okay. Well, if you're going to get a car or a truck or equipment or a computer or furniture for your company. They're going to check Paynet. Look that up. P-A-Y-N-E-T. Paynet. We need to know these things so we can get what we want in life. Yeah. See, I just know how to grow, but I don't know the, 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 the technicalities of it all, too. So That's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to get with you. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> Well, we're going to need to get, you know what? We can do this a lot more often. I think people need to know this. And if you're willing, we can, we can do this a lot more if you like. I'm totally willing. I'm totally willing. My job, I, to understand your assignment, to know why you're here. Why are you here? A tree has a reason to be here. A car is a transportation thing. Everything's put here. A, a bee is here to make sure the greenery happens. The, the trees are here to filter, what am I here for? There's a reason why I was put in this situation to learn all this stuff. And it finally came to me years ago. I said, wow, you know, my ex-wife said, Derek, I got a PhD in, in business and I never heard any of this stuff you're talking about. I said, that's because you weren't supposed to know it. This is quiet. High finance, the good old boys, good old girls club. And they teach you how to go to school, get in debt. I have nothing against education, but they teach you to get in debt, go to school. By the time you get out of school, then what happens? You got all this debt. Now you got to go get an apartment, you get credit cards, you're in more debt. And now you got to go get a job with somebody. Right? So that's the whole game to keep you locked down. Mm. So keep you locked down where you make a certain amount here if you don't have education, education, and you make a certain amount here if you don't have education, maybe you can be the supervisor. If you have education, now you can be the, the boss of the company, but you don't own the company. So you're leveled off. Yeah. So they're not making you, they what they call education is what they call Latin. Here we go again. For inducere. That means, inducere means to take out of you what's in you. So if you're an artist and you're a singer and you have a talent, you don't do that because you need money. You do that because this is what I like to do and it's the money comes, it comes. Because I love this. I love music, right? Yeah. That's why I was so happy to deal with, uh, you know, uh, 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 Kerry Gordy, you know, because uh, he was start surprised to hear all the people that I knew. You know, I was like, going from Etta James all the way to, you know, you know, four times everybody, you know, you, mm -hmm. know, I was like, you know, what about the Eagles? Can you get their stuff? He's like, what do you know about the Eagles? I said, come on, man, you know, <laughs> what about America? You know, the eyes never getting there, nothing to the Tin Man, right? He was like, yo, Derek, get something else. I love music. Wow. So, so you know, you, you, you've got to understand these things so that you can 
so that you can do non-performance income. You don't perform. This is the greatest country in the world, but we don't understand the rules, right? And you're helping the bank and the bank's helping you. Right. And that's how they, that's how they operate. Well, we need to learn more about this. Where can people find you to learn more about this? And, and you and me got to get another date. Definitely. We're going to do that right after the show. We're going to get another date after the show. I have to talk to you about that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but, 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 but where can people find you so that they can learn more and maybe even go under your tutelage? They can find us on uh, economicmasonry.com. That's our website. And we are, um, uh, we've been sponsored. We have a banner that we can put up there that we have up there from NBC, ABC, CBS, and, and all those guys. Um, uh, I've done interviews with them and they allow us to put their banner up. Um, uh, and we're doing 360 CEO, filling in all the gaps. So uh, you can go there and sign up at the bottom and you can see some of the testimonials of real people, not Larry out of Florida, but such and such, such and such. And this is my company and you can call me. Okay, awesome. uh, and uh, you know anybody from scratch all the way to the top, we deal with. You know, um, mm. and and we have on uh, a group, we have what they call like we're starting a group. I I got these people who are just doing all this stuff. You got a group, a group of what? A group of people who are like putting in CRMs and high levels and sending out emails and follow up. I know nothing about this stuff. <laughs> I do. That's. A- you do? I do. Because I work for a company doing their power of attorney. So I was kind of like a, a legal end of it all. So I know a lot of the legal mumbo jumbo that goes on between companies and power of attorneys and stuff. So I did CRMs for, oof, I did CRMs. I did the traveling. I did the, the paperwork for the legal, uh, the, all of that. I did all of that. Wow. Well, what I'm trying to do is just build wealth. Right. So the first thing we're doing is getting the C corporation. The person, the C corporation is a person. So everything you need, it needs. So again, if we're going to get a car, if we're going to get whatever, we need to know we need to build our pay net because we're going to go in and get a fleet of trucks. Mm-hmm. We're going to go do Turo. So we need to go in and get cars, a fleet of cars. Credit, not with your own money. Right. With money, right? Let's say, for instance, we want to get furniture for our business. We want to have, uh, you know, whatever, um, uh, what they call equipment loans. That's pay net. So you build your pay net and you build up your credit score, which is easy in pay net. And then you go in and apply for Ally, go to Ally and get your cars. You know, you make it seem so simple. It is very simple. <laughs> it's so doing. simple. Well, we're yeah. going to have to get with you. We're definitely going to have to get you. I'm going to have all of your information in the description box below so that people can easily go there and begin to learn what it is to be that top 15, to be that top 5%. In the future, it's like he said, it's probably only going to be by 5%, like 95% of them, because I'm not going to be more. that. I'm not going to be in more. that percentage. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I refuse. No. No, if, if you know better, you can do better. Yes, yes. Now, the next thing is, really quick, I want you to uh, 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 understand how, this, how that, the rubber meets the road. Mm-hmm. So you can do it. Anybody can do it. Yes. Big corporation, build your, your pay net if you want cars. If you want credit cards, those store cards, like Home Depot, maybe you're a builder. You need Lowe's, Home Depot, right? You need stuff like that. Those are store cards. Those are called your your uh, merchant accounts. That's done in Bradstreet. Mm. You know, done in Bradstreet. Now, those are cards like, you know, Costco, like uh, Lowe's and those store cards, right? right? You can actually turn those store cards into money. You can get a gift card from one of those places and then use that as money. Mm. Now, the next thing is, if you wanted a car, why would you go and buy a car in your name and pay four, five, six, seven percent, eight inches percent interest, right? When you can get a corporation card, they give you higher limits. So you got two fifty thousand dollar cards, two sixty thousand dollar cards. You say, Willie needs that Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, but you got to make sure it's over six thousand pounds, so you can write uh, it off. <laughs> who needs to write it off? <laughs> 
Who needs to yeah, write it off? The corporation all? can't do that. Don't think, don't think. We're thinking Latin now. Right, that's right. So we're thinking okay. different. And so a lot of people, gonna, okay, I got it. I got it. I'm good, okay, I'm good. So what we're going to do is, we're going to switch your thinking. Right. So what, what we're going to do is, we're not going to go buy the car and pay the bank 6% interest. We're going right. to get corporate cards that have 0% interest. Sweet. Oh, it gets better. <laughs> You take two of those cars, just say, I want that Mercedes for 125000 I want that S550. Why go small? It's their money. So now, you know how people buy cars and then all of a sudden the repo man comes because they missed some payments and something happened in their life? Yes. Why, would you, have bad, why would you have bad credit and have nothing? When you can go in with two corporate cars and say, how are you going to pay for this? I want to buy that car for what you paid for it for because I'm paying cash. Mm. Oh, oh, well, okay, fine. I'm a car dealer. They'll do that. Now, and I'm not going to pay interest because I'm going to pay the credit card, not the bank, with 0% interest. And the next year, I'm going to get, switch it over to another credit card that has 0% interest, and I'm not going to pay any interest. On top of that, when Willie buys the car, Willie is going to own the car because they're going to send Willie the title. So there's no repo, man. If Willie, something happens to Willie, you say, sorry, bye, Willie. You sign the car over to you. And now you own the car free and clear. Mm. So if you're going to have bad credit, you might as well have bad credit first with something. Yeah. If you're going to have bad credit, go swipe the cards with Willie and buy Willie the house. And buy Willie a fourplex. Right. And live in one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you, no, no, no. Look, 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 buy can you do that, plex. though? Can you do that? Can you start off like that? You can do that. The best thing is, is to take Willie, which is a fourplex of the same as single family. We train in real estate also, right? right. I don't I in market notes from the bottom to the top. So, uh -huh. so everybody should have a three bucket plan. That means they should have the first plan where your money's coming in, $1 million to $5 million. That's called that seed money, right? What come, your money coming in. The next bucket is real estate. There's no person that's rich. Anybody can be wealthy, wealthy in knowledge. I'm talking rich. When you're rich, no, everyone rich has real estate. It's against yeah. the law to not have real estate. If you're rich, it's against the law. You know, oh, I just bought, uh, you know, 105 acres out and uh, such. As, oh, that's great. What is, I love it over there. I was thinking about buying something over there. You must have real estate. That's your second bucket. And your third bucket is long-term investments. Yeah. Three-bucket plan. You also have to have the concept of, of micro. So most people think, I want a million dollars. I want $5 million. And when I reach that, I'm at the pinnacle. No. This is not 1977 where a million dollars is a lot of money. It's not. You spend okay. a dollar, you're no longer a millionaire. <laughs> Look, not on top of that, you're exactly right. But guess what? Rappers are getting $50 million contracts and some of them can't even read. I know. So what's that's not a lot of money. And where I live in California, one home in San Diego or or LA is, is a million dollar five bedroom home. So a thousand of those is a billion dollars. That's not a lot of money. So you need to have, one should have a micro, what they're looking for in their life, the micro that takes care of their bills and a macro. What is your macro? What is your billion dollar idea? We need to incorporate that. So if we only try to go to the stars, we get that we stay down on the planet. If we try to go to the moon, you get to the stars, you're above off the planet. You're above everybody else. So you have to have your micro idea and your macro idea. Yeah. And your macro idea is going to be real estate. Yes. Yes. And I tell people, really? oh, people, okay, so I had a friend of mine, not to go into a story, but I had a friend of mine. He was like, well, I want to do this and I'm going to sell my house. I said, the first thing you don't do is sell your house. You don't sell property. You keep property. Property yeah, stays. Yeah, yeah. You rent it out. 
you do Airbnb, you do whatever you guys do, but property That's stayed today. with you. And he didn't do it. He rented it out. Thank goodness, because now the property value is up. And he came back and thanked me. You know, you don't sell your property. You hold on to it. Whatever you got to do, you Airbnb that sucker, you rent that sucker out, you catch up, you, you make deals with the bank to make sure that you keep your property. That is the one thing. And then you take that property value, you bring that money out of there however you can. I mean, I mean, I guess I, I think a HELOC or something to that effect. I'm not really sure because I'm not really versed yeah, in real estate. HELOC, I just know yeah, you got to take it. Yes. And then you take that and you get another piece. Yes. Yes. I know that. Yes. I know so you that. Take the, you take the first property. We are capitalists. So we don't mm -hmm. buy anything retail. We don't do that. That's that's Aramaic thinking. Okay. If, if you got milk, you say, where, where's the milk on sale? That's what right? I do. I'm like, buy one, I'm get one. Buying, I'm not buying anything wholesale, right? No. I really, really want it. Gotta, gotta really want to have it to buy something retail, right? BJ's, Costco. I go to the wholesale places. Exactly. So, you find a piece of property that's the that's a fourplex. That's the same as a single family property. It's the same thing. So you purchase that that may needs a little work in it, and you purchase it as an investor that drops twenty percent off the property automatically. Now you go in, purchase it, do a little work in there, ten, twenty thousand dollars working in, right? Fix it nice. Then you put two people at the top, they pay your mortgage, and the two people at the two people at the bottom, they pay you. So if you got four of those, that's about ten thousand dollars coming in every month. Now you're laying back saying non-performance income. That's right. That's right. I, I mean, that, I know about that. I know the basic principles about that. But I know you just never sell your property. You just don't no. do it. You no, renegotiate. Really. You do what you got to do to keep that property. You do what you got to do to keep that property. Okay. Right. Just keep that property. Okay. Wow. Wow. There's just yeah, so much to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love. Well, I love this. It's better when you have somebody that can hold your hand and explain it to you in layman's terms. Because when I learned things, you know, they didn't have the internet. I mean, we're talking 25 years ago. The internet was not popping, right? So, no. <laughs> <My hand. laughs> so oh gosh, the corporation is the person. The corporation has to understand if you want to go in and get those uh, cars as paynet. You want to go in and get those store cards that's done in Bradstreet, and that's how you build up your 80 pay decks. 800 credit score, they don't call it a credit score. They call it an 80 pay decks in a business, right? So in a business, as a person, the, the, uh, the uh, articles of incorporation is a birth certificate. The EIN number is its, is its social security number. The good standing letter is, 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 is when the cops say, hey, look, you know what? We're not, uh, you're not in trouble. Right? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> so the EIN is a social. Those are the three things you need to get in the bank account. Right? So now you got your, your, your C Corp. If you want to get those store cards, of course, you got to build your, your nets. You can build those. Most people online talking about. Build your quill, go in and get your Euroline, go in and get your interstate battery, those little junk cards, so you can get your 80 pay decks because you have to have an 80 pay decks in order to have a score. So people go in and try to acquire an 80 pay decks so they can have a score with Dun & Bradstreet. But you need five to eight trade lines to have an 80 pay decks. Okay, they need to know this. The kids need to know this. Next, people go and they teach you on the internet. That's what really made me upset. That was the that was the backbreaker. When I when a guy showed me that, I was like, enough. Okay, man, let's do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll put on my suit. I'll do it. Because I heard this guy say, let us teach you how to get an 80 pay dex. They're all over the internet. I said, this is stupid. Because if you get 
a quill account for fifty dollars. You can get an interstate battery for hundred dollars. Euroline for fifty dollars. What bank is going to lend you a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars because you got a fifty dollar quill account? Nobody. So what good is that doing you? That's backwards. Yeah. You have to first go in, build those high limits, right? Then go in and build your Dun and Brad Street so you get higher limits with those quills, $2,500 limits, $3,000 limits. So don't do it backwards. So if you want the store cards, that's going to be Dun and Brad Street. Next, if you want that line of credit, that's going to be small business financial exchange. Because that's banks talking to banks. They do something that's called, I understand banking, there's something called UCC1 and UCC3. UCC1 means we are in first position. We let, we let her some money. And anybody comes after us is in second position, and you're not getting anything before we get ours. So they file in the county assessor's office, UCC1. And all the banks talk to banks, and they have a, a hub that they put the information in that all banks can go in and look at it. Small business financial exchange. If you're gonna go, so you know you want that line of credit, then you have, or you want a house or whatever in the corporate name, you gotta build a small financial exchange, right? If you want those revolving lines and you want those uh, revolving lines of credit where you pay it down and you pay it back and you can use it over and over, Equifax experience. We need to know this. Okay, now the nuts and bolts, right? Corporation, you understand uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, the five bureaus, you understand any pay decks, you understand now you, the, the person is a corporation, is a person, an entity. 2000 years ago, they made it a person. So the corporation cannot do business out of your home if you want money. You know how many people I do train every day that say, I'm doing business at my home. That's a no-no. If a corporation is a person, that's your poor cousin living on your couch. Your uncle, that calls you for money all the time. That's Uncle Jerry. He's on the couch. He smokes a lot. It's you know, I tell him to smoke yeah. in the house, right? Mm -hmm. It's always not smoking in the house, Uncle Jerry. So how do you get, a lot of people don't have bar brick and mortars anymore. So how do you get, how do you get out of your house? How do you do that? Because you have to have a you have to have a brick and mortar. They don't care what's going on. That's what they want. So what you do is people are learning how to get virtual offices. Mm. But the problem is yeah, it just seems do. weird. Virtual. But guess what? The bank has a portal that they can go in. I train some of them. They will go in and look at, look at online Google Maps and look down at your so-called address and they will say, this is a PO box. This is a mailbox, et cetera. This is not an office. And you're gonna stay gonna say, nope. So what you wanna do is we show people how to go in because there's companies that have offices around the country that you can pay them. They will give you a lease and it's a real building. It's an office building and they will forward your mail and everything. For twenty five dollars a month. What? Come oh on, you're talking, you're talking talk to, to me. Talk to me, brother. Talk to me. Come on, you're talking to Derek. You're talking Come to me. Come on. You're talking to. Oh my gosh. I told you. Come on. I've been doing this thirty years. You go, boy. Oh, oh man, God. if you guys aren't listening to this, you better listen to this. You better get, get in, get in, get in and listen. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need water. I'm hot. Right? I'm hot. And, it, and they're going to give you a lease. Sometimes the bank acts and they say, Yo, you think you're slick. You got an office. Where's your lease? They're going to give you a lease. Now, the second thing is people use their phone for their for their business that's your poor cousin asking to use your phone we go in we get you a landline 
not a Google number that the banks like, come on, really? Not even gonna work, right? Guess what? They go in, they get, I go in, I get you an 800 number and a landline number, which rings directly to your phone, but it's a landline. It's not a voiceover, it's a landline, right? Nine, ten dollars a month, eight hundred number, and a landline. Now you have an office. Now you have a C corp. Now you have the things that the bank wants. They said, "Come in here with blue shoes and red socks." So put them on. But they're not going to tell you that they want red socks and blue. So you walk in with you know brown shoes, and they say, "Up, oh, sorry, you said I didn't know." I say ignorance is no excuse. I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> denied. <laughs> Right? So you got a oh, Derek wow. Whitehead to tell you what the bank wants because of my experience. I think from an underwriter's perspective, the people bring you into the bank to bring a lot of people in. The underwriter is to get you out of there. So to stay in there and get the money and open account, get you get the money, you got to know what they want. So next you got your phone, you got your C Corp. You got your address, you got your, your lease, very cheap. Now, what's next? The bank wants to see a website. What company doesn't have a website? But the people, you ever see people get a website and they, and they, and they say 2022, 2023, because they just got it last month or they got it months ago or a year. The bank wants to see two and a half, three years for the deal with you. So why would you put 2023 up there, 2022. You don't do that. Right. You don't do that. You put it at the bottom of it five, three years back, four years back. They say, check, got it. They want to give you the money. They just want to say, check. Oh, yeah. They speak Latin, check. I love it, check. I love it. We're going to be multi big time rich when we get out and walk them out of here. So, you know, people get a get that that get that uh, number. It's like uh, you know, Yahoo.com. That's unprofessional. Right. Gmail. That's unprofessional. You gotta get your you business. You want to have that. a domain and get, and get a dot com. That's right. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you walk in and get your dot com, the next thing is, what about your domain name? Do you know the bank can walk in and look and see? how old you got your domain is. So now you got a domain that's brand new. The bank says, something's fishy here. Wait a minute, you got a five-year-old court. That, this doesn't add up. So why the same way you can buy an old, a new domain, you can buy a new one. I mean, an old one, I'm sorry. Same way you buy a new one, you can buy an old one, $10. Now you got an old domain. Check. Next, who doesn't have a Facebook? The bank wants to see you have social media. This is new times. Who doesn't have that? So you're quite required to have it. They want to give you the money. So go in and get a Facebook and make it private. So they say, check, he's got it, but they don't know when you opened it. The tricks. Right? Oh, yeah. Now, now, what's next? Let's say, for instance, you, uh, uh, you, you, uh, you don't have a specific sick code, right? So it's ABC, whatever, 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 but it doesn't mean anything, right? And then your DBA is, if you need a name, put the DBA underneath it. Right. Okay. Now, let's say, for instance, you, uh, you got your address, you got your phone number, you got your C Corp, you got your, you got all that stuff. But now the bank wants to see that you have over 40 hits on your website. Who's going to teach you that on the internet? Nobody. <laughs> That's why you got their wedding. See? So, so they have a special algorithm that they can go in and look at it. You know what that is? You know how they see it? It's called who is. They're going to check who is. 
and they're going to see this person does not have 40 hits. So go into your website, you and your family, and go and look at it, come out, look at it, come out, look at That's it. That's right. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now you go in, and now you got your stuff set up. Then you walk in and use your personal credit to guarantee the corporation because they say, you know what? You want one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars from us. You go to st stated income. Stated, because you say, well, the corp's not that old. How can they gonna give us some money? Because it's stated income, and you're gonna guarantee it. You're gonna get the credit cards and the lines of credit from you know the small stuff. You know, fifty thousand here, hundred thousand hit, hit a few banks up, boom, boom. You got your one, two, three, four hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. That's good seed money. Now you take. Uh, six months or a year, I prefer a year out of that money, put it to the side so it can pay the bill. You don't have to worry about paying the bill. Right. What happens now? Now you get to using non-performance. You don't work. You don't have to go get money to do business. You just got money to do business. You don't do business to get money. Now you're straight. You got your seed money. You got your foundation. Now you're looking for springboard capital, right? Right. So, you walk, so now you walk in and you want to expand. So you put your money in some real estate or something that you know is going to flip and going to grow. Maybe Turo, maybe real estate, maybe uh, Airbnb, whatever. There's all kinds of things to do, right? Now in six months, it's automatically paying the bill, correct? automatically because you put money inside in six months that is going to have that company is going to have great credit and then you go in and say i need more they're going to give you more because this thing's paying the money on time but that's you right. set it up and take it out it's going to pay it automatically that's it now after a year you the corp is big enough to pay off the two hundred thousand that you signed for, and now it gets its own loan for 200, pays that off, you're out of the picture. Now you go back and get another one and do it all over again. I knew it. I knew it. O P M. <laughs> Y'all went there. O P M, other people's money, not, not the other one. <laughs> <laughs> if you're older, you understand what I just said. I, I had to cut. I had to cut it. OPM, y'all. OPM, other people's money. <laughs> now, now that you've got that down, you go in and you do another one. Now you have double the money. Right. So and instead of 200 or three, you got six or four. Yeah. Or even so five. If you, got, if you got three partners, you go in and do that right off the bat. That's three. That's that's a million dollars. You can't do something with a million dollars. I can do a lot and of things with a million dollars. Year, then after a year, you got another million. But guess that's what? Still made, but you've already made money, so you got more than a million dollars. That's right. And that's and, just the money that you're going to be using to put in to invest in other things. Exactly. Preferably real estate. Preferably. Yeah. Now, the next thing is to make sure you leverage it because you are like the bank. You want to leverage it. So a good trick is, say, for instance, you go in um, and you put the money in the bank. They're going to be able to give you after six months or a year, they're gonna, you're going to be qualified for a merchant account loan. You're going to be qualified for a bank statement loan. It has nothing to do with your credit. Back statement loan, an annual loan after a year, they're going to take $10,000 of your money that if three months, the sum banks are six, some are three months. After three months, they're going to take that $10,000 of your, of your bank statements at the ending balance, and they're going to make it look like you have a year. And they're going to lend you 75% of whatever that is. That's 75% of 120000 but you got to ask for it. Mm. They now can't you, guide you. A baby that don't cry don't get fed. It's the squeaky wheel don't get no oil. That's right. <laughs> right? 
Yeah. That King Kong ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh we my have too gosh. much fun. <laughs> This is something else. This is so I wish we could continue to talk. I mean, we've you've given so much already. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell people to go ahead and go to that website and even to join in on, you know, if you have anything there to join in on whatever you got going on. Because I mean, they're gonna benefit from this for real. For real. And, and the main thing is, is is uh we're not trying to sell you anything. I'm just giving you the info. You can play this, you can, you can. Give this over and over to people and the things that they're missing, uh, hopefully these fill the gaps for them. And mm -hmm. then they don't need me. They don't need me. They can go do this. And if they want to, they can join the website. I mean, the, uh, the um, not the website, but the, uh, the uh, uh, seminar, webinar, actually. And the webinar will be able to, I'll answer their questions. I do an hour just answering questions. So bring your questions and say, this is what I'm missing. Let me ask you this. And I answer them the best of your ability, my ability, then you go in and do your stuff. This is not there so that we can sell you. But if you do want us to help you, we will do about an hour and a half of explanation, building, and then we will come in and say, these are our programs. We're only going to do 15, 10 minutes of that. After that, we're coming back to questions and answers. You ask us, and we're out of there. We're not doing right. an hour of selling. We're not trying to sell you anything. I didn't do this to sell. Mm -hmm. I did this to give back. I've done very well. And the people that are with me have done very well. So we're trying to give back. So right. if they have questions, they hop on the webinar. They say, hey, you know what? I'm not trying to buy it. I just have questions I want to be, have answered. I'm going to answer them. Wow. Anybody that's saying, oh, he's just trying to get a dollar out of us. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to give you the answers you need to make you 360 CEO. And this should be done for our children. Yes. No one can rise above the condition of their culture. It doesn't matter how many bitlies I drive. It doesn't matter how many houses I own. When I walk into a store, they see me as my culture. And I got news for you. Today, it's not even black and white because people of color and people that of non-color, Europeans, white folks, they're going down the tubes too. They need to learn this. This yeah. isn't no, this is no longer a skin thing or a, you know, hey, oh, we're better than them. We're not. Oh no. We're all in the same boat here. Wow. Wow. You definitely that's right. what I'm saying it and I'm sticking to it. That's yeah, stick with it. Here. You're true. It's true. It's true. It definitely is true. Wow. We're gonna have that information in the description box below so that you guys can go ahead and easily grab that. Join in on the webinars. Go ahead and sign up if you need to sign up if you want to. Join in on all of his uh, TikToks. I mean, he's got TikTok. We're gonna we're gonna try to find that TikTok and put it up here as well. I want to thank you so much, Derek, for being on the show. And you're coming back. Ain't no if ands or buts about it. And I'll see you guys later on. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys. Bye. My gosh, we gotta get the oh. You know what? Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time that I upload. And don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. I dare to be different. 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 Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time that I upload. And don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. I dare to be different. 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 I dare to be different.